What's going on, everybody? It's your boy John from the here. Welcoming you back to some more Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. In the latest episode of the series, we uh, found the master room, um, and what I mean by that is the data center, um, and we were able to unlock it. So now we have some lovely craziness to unfold and witness. So let's find out what we need to do we need a, a lot there's a lot of discovery type tasks that have to have to happen there's nothing showing up on this one hmm. huh hey look next to that tv isn't that a tv antenna How about that? it is it's just the one my grandma uses it's the one that totally out oh, of those totally high def antennas wait so if you hook up the antenna we can watch the tv <gasps> Huh, did you say a TV? You know? Well, well, Saturday morning Hina's here. Mm. Uh, are you talking about me? Okay. Anyway, if we can watch TV, let's do it. Come on, come on, come on. You know? Uh, you're really starved for the info from the outside world, huh? Mm. All right, let me work my magic. I'll, and you'll be quantum leaping your way to the TV land before you know it. I mean, I get the reference, but it, what is he talking about? <laughs> Understandable. That's literally here in a nutshell. Okay, what is the computers? There's a bunch of computers all lined up. They look like high performance uh, PCs. Nothing like the ancient laptop Alter Ego was installed mm. on. They're all uh, they're all on, but they seem to be locked. Mm. So what? We can't do anything. Can just use your fighting spirit to force your way in. Mm -hmm. What century are you f f from? The mastermind must have been using this to monitor the network. An Alter Ego. Hmm. You may well be very right. What? But there's no point in thinking about it now. You're right. This door's kind of creepy. It's got a picture of Monokuma on it. What could be inside? Rattle, rattle. No luck. Um... The door's locked, huh? Well, if you use the key that opened this room, let's give it a try, just in case. Rattle, rattle. No good. Won't even fit in the keyhole. Hmm. Oh. Yeah! Well, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. The mastermind's dead, right? So there's nothing that is going to happen to us. I guess you're right. I can't stop thinking about the door with Monokuma's picture on it. But worrying about it isn't going to do me any good. Hina's right. The mastermind's gone, so there's nothing to be afraid of anymore. There's a really ridiculous number of monitors here. And the mastermind is using it to spy on all of us. <laughs> as long as I have this. Huh? Oh, look. A master comb. It's a feast for the uh, eyes. How many bloodshots of monthly membership? Oh, my. You know? uh, oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. What's wrong? Hmm. Good news for y'all. Saturday morning kitties out there. I think I got the TV working. <sighs> Really? Hmm. Now we're all good to do this. Switch it on. What? Then do it already. Uh, Freaking idiot mastermind. All you need to cut free from your regrets of the outside world. What the heck? And they'll be sitting here watching TV the whole time. They really thought they could get away with it? Huh? 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 This is. Hmm. It's a feed coming from the surveillance camera monitoring this room, isn't it? The heck? Uh huh? That's weird. Come on. Hey, what are you doing? Huh? That's really weird. Hmm. <laughs> you you're weird. Weird in every p possible way, and just just not just just weird. Super weird. But. But the TV isn't hooked up to anything but the antenna. So how is it showing the camera's feed? Wow. Did you try changing the channel by uh, chance? Um, oh, good idea. Let me give that a try. Here went through each channel one by one. But on every channel, it was just us. It was a live feed of us standing there in the data center. What the heck? Ooh, ooh. Hmm. Is it broken or something? Could it be? No, there must be some kind of trick to it. Some weird setup. A trick? What kind of trick? Actually, 
actually. I'm not sure, but. <gasps> huh? Hmm? Huh? Huh? What? Huh? What? What? <laughs> Been a while, you freaking B words. Monokuma! <gasps> You're supposed to be d -d dead. <laughs> Me dead. Don't be freaking stupid. What? Ah, uh, you're acting kind of strange. Something seems different. Of course. Of course I'm different. Evolution, it's pretty natural, you know. After all, I've been hibernating for two years already. Uh -huh. Not even. It's been like half a day at most. Oh. How are you alive again? <laughs> oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> the look on your faces right now, it's so sublime. What is that? That's what I wanted to see. The moment you went from a hope to despair. <laughs> Don't tell me you pretended to be dead all this for this moment. <laughs> oh, why would a bear pretend to be dead? You're the ones who should pretend to be dead when you see a bear. <laughs> I mean, that's totally laughable. It makes me laugh. I'm gonna laugh right now. Now. And that's that. Shield. Well, I almost cut off you the, your past, so full of hope and begin to spare at the future ahead of you. All I want, all I want you to have, or all I want you, all I, I want you all to have way more fun in this killing game. You can't be serious. We have to keep going. <laughs> no, we're supposed to get out of here. Yeah. Get out of here? You are you still obsessed with getting out of here? Like, wow, how do you even not get it already? There is no way to get out. And besides, yep, the this life isn't all bad, you know. I mean, there's stuff you won't like about life, no matter where you are. <laughs> are you so serious? This place is the worst. <laughs> if it's the worst, then does that mean you're in despair? <laughs> Now. Whew, I poop from all that laughing. I guess I gotta get to the point now. The point? Hey! Um... You guys really struck gold when you found that TV. Yes, indeed. But the TV is an essential part of your school life here. What? I knew it was hiding a secret of some kind. The heck? But I just connected the antenna, so why is it just showing us the surveillance feed? <laughs> <laughs> you look. Look how attentive they are now. Well then, I'm gonna let you in on the blood gushing secret and tell you about it. That TV is absolutely, without a doubt, displaying the signal coming in on the antenna. Huh? Huh? But what does that mean? <laughs> it's displaying the, the, the signal, but it's just us standing here. Unbelievable. Uh, you're so stupid. You don't get it. Fine, I'll tell you. <laughs> This Chills, killing game is being kills. broadcast live to the entire world. It is the most popular thing on TV. What? Extreme. The killing game is being broadcast live to the entire world. It is the most popular thing on TV. It doesn't matter how many times he says it. I just don't know what that's supposed to mean. I mean, even if it was, I understood the words, I'm not sure I understand the deeper meaning. Huh? What? Broadcast live to the entire world? What? What the kind of bad joke is this? That's... It can't be. Have they taken over the airwaves somehow? Oh, the camera no. feed is being broadcast. No way. That's impossible. Uh, that kind of overconfidence is a major weakness in your crisis management system. You know that? All you need is one weird trick I found, and hijacking the airwaves is easy mode. Are you being serious right now? Of course. Of course, it's Wanakuma. I heard that a kind of creaking. But the sound was coming from my own mind. Like a boat, tossing into the ocean, my mind had become a crack in the ground. Hey, um... Everything has a meaning, you know. All those hints I gave you, all those tantalizing tidbits about the school mysteries. Even my luring you here right now. Why would I do any of that without a reason? It was all my captive audience, or for my captive audience, to show them true despair like they've never seen before. <laughs> I became the director of a despair-based production. This is my ultimate reality show, the best in the despair entertainment. What are you saying? You're lying. If this was on TV, the police and everyone else would be going crazy. Um, yeah, there's no way they wouldn't have tried to come and rescue us. Actually, what if they already did? Huh? Yes, indeed. But then again, it's not really any of their business, right? 
Sure, some people might yell at the TV and try to warn you, but who would actually come here to help? Mm. Don't you think that's possible? I don't really know personally, though. So, whatever. This can't be. But to take control of the, all communications like that, you need astronomical amount of resources. <laughs> yep. So how could that things have come this far? Yeah. Well, that's a secret. There's something all you need to do first, remember? What? Of course. Uh, yeah, there's a little business of... Investigation time! A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin! <sighs> Huh? Huh? Class trial? Do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's the Monokuma file. I'll leave this next Monokuma file right here. Everyone, give it all you got, okay? Okay then. Excitement. You're gonna go. We things are gonna get crazy on from here on out. So it's you're in a for a I heck of a wait. ride. I, I can't, can't wait. wait. And then he was gone. Reality was incomprehensible. The truth was hopefully, hopelessly out of reach. All we were left with was despair. We stood there for I don't know how long, frozen in place. I couldn't think of it. Couldn't think. It took everything I had just to keep myself standing upright. I don't understand any of this. What despair, entertainment, and how is he still alive? I'm sick of this. I thought that finally. Finally, that we could get out of here. Yeah. And plus, what he says to say about a class trial. Stop talking. Well, that part was obvious. The class trial is a class trial. But what it means is that at this point, we have to figure out who the culprit is. Figure out who killed Kyoko. What? What the heck? What are you talking about? I thought Makuro Ikasaba was the one who died. <laughs> the victim was female, right? Kyoko certainly fulfills the condition. And if Monokuma is still alive and active, that means the mastermind, Makura Ikisaba, isn't dead. So naturally, that body is, can't belong to her. So it must be Kyoko. There's no other possibility. The body is... Kyoko. Kyoko's been murdered? No, that's not possible. Because... Because I don't know anything about her yet. I don't even know who she really is. I have to have to end it like this. I don't believe it. I refuse to believe Quiet. it. Whether you believe it or not, it does not matter. The truth is the truth. If you refuse to believe it, it is your responsibility to uncover the truth yourself. Myself. <laughs> anyway, we'd better begin. But, but if we're gonna have a class trial, then that means the killer. That's right. Correct. It must be participating in our school life. <laughs> Wait. So you're saying one of us killed Kyoko? <laughs> Well, that's not particularly what I'm saying. No. Mm -hmm. Huh? But you just said... Stop talking. I don't have the time to explain right now. There is a versatile... Or, or a veritable mountain of issues uh, I need to confirm. <laughs> so I'm going to begin my research. If you value your life, so you'll put everything into this. That is how this game works, after all. <laughs> Investigation time. Well, I better start checking the Monokuma file. Due to an explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife and went completely through the body. They had also been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered in other wounds, but these were at least several days old. So even the Monokuma doesn't tell us who the victim really was. The unidentified body, could it really be Kyoko? Or... I have no choice. I have to investigate. I have to uncover the truth for myself. No matter what, I have to find out what happened, or we all are dead. I need to go back to the scene of the crime. Back to the garden. Monokuma file 5. It's okay. Time to get started. I need to check everywhere that may be important, from one end to the other. I just need to do what I always do. Well, first, let's check on the body. If I check the body more thoroughly, then maybe I'll be able to make sure if it's Kyoko or not. Huh? There's something weird about the body's fingernails. 
Oh, these are fake nails. They're really long. They seem like they'd get away or they'd get in the way of normal activities. Fake nails have been added to the truth bullet section. There's also something on the back right of her hand. It, this is, is it a tattoo? It got burned, so I can't make it out the whole thing, but it looks like a picture of a dog or something that I had never seen anything like it before. Tattoo on the right hand has been added. The upper half of her body got set on fire into the explosion and is totally blackened. Also, the top half of the body is wet. That's because it got set on fire and I threw water on it. But since I only threw the water on the part that was on the fire, only the top half, the bottom half is still dry. In other words, there's a strange there's nothing strange about the top half being wet. But there isn't, right? Exploded body analysis has been added to the truth bullet section. The white jacket the victim was wearing got totally burnt up. There's only one little piece left. The lower half of the body didn't get hit as well. After the body blew up, the top half got set on fire, so I dumped a bucket of water on it, which explains why the bottom half isn't wet. There's nothing strange about that, right? These look like fragments of something. They're all burnt, so I can't really see, but I feel like I've seen something like it before. But where? Wait, was it there? All I did, I'll have to double check later. Fragments near the dead body has been added to the truth bullet section. There's a knife laying on the ground. Is this? It must be the knife that struck the body before it exploded. The force of the explosion must have thrown it over here. The body cube file said the knife went all the way through the body, from the front to the back. Does this mean the knife was the, what caused the fatal injury? Either way, this knife. It looks really familiar. Wait, is this? That's it. It's the knife that the person was holding. This is getting really weird. There's too many strange coincidences. Whoever the person in the mask it was that attacked me last night, they were holding the knife. And then the same knife was used in a stab that made the same mask attacker we found here. So maybe this mask person got stabbed because when they attacked, I was in kind of in a trance. Maybe I reacted by grabbing the knife. And maybe I, I... If this is really is Kyoko, it would mean Kyoko is the one that attacked me. But why the mask? I just don't know. I don't remember anything clearly from last night. No. No. It can't be. There's no way. The knife at the crime scene has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. I remember there were some chickens in the chicken coop. I count four chickens, huh? Four. Yo. What's going on, Makoto? I'm glad you're here. Listen, do you remember how many chickens there were in here? Hmm. Of course, they were precisely five. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Hmm. What's wrong? There's only four chickens here now. We're w we're one uh -huh. short, huh? Uh. That's so weird. I wonder when it when it disappeared. I was down here just before nighttime last night, and there were definitely five chickens then. What are we gonna do? Going from five to four is gonna have an impact on the structure of the world. Conspiracy. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. If even a single piece disappears, the entire world will remain unfinished. I did my best to ignore Hero and focus on the problem at hand. Why did one of the chickens disappear? Could it be related to the case? I love that. I did my best to ignore anything Hero said. Just to be sure, I took a look in this tool shed. The room is dusty and disorganized. In other words, it's a stereotypical tool shed. Is that a tarp? Wait. Was that tarp here before? I should probably look into that. It could be related to the case. 
The top is wet and covered with the mud and grime, but the underside is totally clean and completely dry. One side of the tarp is wet and dirty, and something about that bothers me. Tarp has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. That's the one thing in here that concerns me. How's the plant doing? The Monokuma flower, huh? Is it true that it does eat paper, plastic, and people? Anyway, I don't think it's related to the case, so I think I'll just stay away. Hmm. Listen, Lakoto, do you remember how the body looked, you know, before it blew up? Hmm, if I remember right. It was wearing some kind of mask and a big white coat. Also, the knife sticking out of its stomach uh, and there was around it was it was stained with blood. Apparently the wound had stopped bleeding, but if the body or but the blood on the blood on the body are still was still wet. Biakia said not to touch it to avoid getting all bloody. But for how long how much blood there was on the body, I didn't see any on the ground. Okay. Wow, thanks. That was a big help. Now you've explained it, I totally remember how it looked. Well, Having to talk about it like that helped me remember a lot better, too. So thank you, too. Body before the explosion has been added as a truth blow to your health. Ah! Yeah! So what is that b -b bloody body? B -b who does that b -b body belong to? Whoever it is, it's not going to look. I don't want to look faint anymore. Hmm. Good timing, Makoto. I wanted to talk to you. What do you want to talk about? So in other I'd like words, to hear your alibi. In alibi? In other words, Correct. I would like to hear where you were after nighttime began last night. Um, well, I was a sick, so I was asleep all night. But why are you asking about that now, and what's nighttime got to do with it? Naturally. Isn't it obvious the murder took place after nighttime? How can you know that for sure? Hmm. Because after the nighttime began, I came to the garden. I was going to around looking for everyone so I could get tell them about Monokuma. Hiro was spending most of his time in the garden in the last few days, so I figured he'd be here. And I can confirm that when I arrived last night, there was no body here. In other words. So the murderer could only have taken place at some point during the nighttime after I left the garden. However, Toko, Hiro, Hina, and I were in the gym together the entire night. What? Hm. Once I found Hiro in the garden, we immediately went to Toko and Hina, uh, Toko and Hino's rooms to get them. At that point, we went to the gym and began dismantling Monokuma. As a precaution, we made it sure not to go anywhere alone, so we didn't. We even went to the bathroom in pairs. In other words, all four of us had airtight alibis. The only ones who don't have alibis are me and Kyoko. That's right. And if the victim really is Kyoko, then the only one without an alibi, hmm. then when also when we get to uh, or go get Hina and Toko, we stopped by your room as well. And you never came to the door, so we were where precisely were you? I'm telling the truth. I was in my room, but I was dead asleep. I had a fever, so <laughs> that's hardly an alibi. I know. <laughs> so what now? You seem like quite at a disadvantage here. I'm the only one without an alibi. That's really bad, isn't it? Biakia's account has been added. Yeah, that is quite bad. Hmm. It's 11 o'clock right now. Okay, and... Serious. Oh, well, I was just thinking about when we first found the body. When the body was found, huh? I should take a look back and at what I did this morning to help me remember what time that was. Monokuma's announcement woke me up at 7 o'clock, as usual, and I headed to the dining hall pretty soon. Once I got there, I met up with Hina. That's right, around 7.30. Then headed to the gym where everyone else was. Next, Toko went to the get the pickaxe, and that's when she found the body. What time was that, then? Now, Toko, what time is it? It's not uh, 8.59. He wanted it at 9.01. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, when we left the gym, it was just just before 9 o'clock, so it's probably 9 on the da -da dot now. That's right. It had to be right around 9 o'clock. You know? Ah, now that you mentioned it, I think you're right. Mm. So I think we can be sure that the body was found at 9 a.m. Okay, my job is done. That's a pretty small job. When the body was found, was that a truth? Was there still more to investigate? Yeah. It's just a camera. No matter when, no matter where, the surveillance cameras go everywhere. Blah blah blah. 
Oh, wait, isn't there a sprinkler thingy that I can double check? This is the panel that controls the sprinklers. They are set to turn on at 7.30 every morning, and Monokuma said the time is positively could not be changed. Huh? Hold on. So the sprinklers turn on at 7.30 each morning, right? Then if the body was here before the sprinklers shouldn't have gotten wet, which would mean the murder must have taken place. Sprinklers has been added to the truth book. I think I've checked everything I need in this area, but I'm not done yet. There's other areas I need to check. Specifically, a fragment I found before. There's somewhere I need to go to confirm my suspicions. I st and I still need to find out more about Kyoko. Is that corpse really Kyoko? If that's true. Was that also Kyoko who attacked me last night? If I can find out more about her, maybe I can answer that question. Kiyoko is never kind of the person to talk about herself all that much. Maybe I can get into her room, so I'll be able to find out more. But the key to her room... It's all clear now. I will simply limit your options. I cannot allow you to engage in any further suspicious activity. What? Limit my options. Just give, up. give me the key to your room. I don't have a choice. I have to see if he'll let me borrow her room key. Hey, um, Biakia? Hmm. If you do come up with an alibi, I'd be happy to hear it later at the class trial. Oh no, it's not about that. You have a key to Kyoko's room, right? I was really hoping I could borrow it. I'm afraid I can't take that risk. You're the prime suspect after what? all. Of course, if I were to go with you, that would be a different story. Then will you go with me? Hmm. Sorry, I have my own agenda to take care of. Find me again later and we'll see. Goodbye. Depending on my mood, I may go with you or I may not. Come back later, huh? Okay, then in the meantime, I should go look around somewhere else. Maybe I can check that one area. That one area. That one area. What? There's two places I'm thinking. I'm gonna check this because it's closest. It has on the fifth floor, but the other area is the secret room. Suit of armor on display. Nothing catching my attention though. We have to go to the second floor, so let's just use our map, I think. That's a better idea. Because we're talking about the uh, the secret room, I think. This is where the bathroom cleaning supplies are stored. Also leads to the secret room. I should probably avoid going in and out of there too much. No. Then what is that one room? That one room. Oh. <laughs> Did I actually just brain fart? Are we talking? Oh, wait. Hold on. There's a thing in the gym. What's in the gym for me? But oh, it's lying dismantled on the floor, but I figured it wouldn't be here. I just found something. What is it? It's hmm? It's what? A bomb. The one installed in every Monokuma robot, I'm sure. A b -b -b bomb And that bomb went missing. There's no doubt about that. The fragments I found in the garden. Fragments near the dead body has been updated in the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay, I've checked everything else that I can think of. All I can do is left is now is Kyoko's room. I should head back to the garden and ask Biakia. 
maps are lovely. La 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 lovely. I don't know. I don't know how I got that. Like, I literally was like, okay, I mean, the, the bomb in the gym. What, it was a thought process of mine, but I was like, eh, there's no reason. Then I checked the map, and I was like, oh, cool. Do you think you can go soon, Byakuya? I wanted to check out Kyoko's room, right? Very well. Let's go. Wait for me. Byakuya walked off without a second glass and, or glance, and I hurried away or after him to our, on our way to the dorm. I can't look at myself. I need to ask Byakuya. This is literally... This feels good. I like this. Well, then. After we go. Or here we go. Byakuya took out the key and slid it into the keyhole and then click. And it, then it was open. Looks like it. Thanks. So, this is Kyoko's room. There's something on the table. It's a wooden decoration. What? What's that? What is the purpose? It, it doesn't starve. I think it's probably a key. The lo the lockers at those traditional public bathhouses use these them for their lockers. Hmm. I wouldn't know. I never go to a public bathhouse. That doesn't really surprise me. Hard to picture Biakia doing something like that. It's certainly And if it possible. is a key, I think I might know what it unlocks. Really? Hmm. What? Unless I'm mistaken, I'm pretty sure I saw something at the dojo that it might go. Or this might go to the dojo. Wood block key has been added to the truth bullet section. It's our bed. I don't see anything interesting here. At least I'm not as far as I, the case is concerned. Understandable. As a surveillance, that's a thing. What? You wanted to come here, right? So what is it you're looking for? Nothing in particular. Nothing particular. I just thought I might find a clue in here. A clue might help us understand come more on. about Kyoko. You can't be serious. That's why you made me take the time to search or out of my search to come here. Sorry. <laughs> Regardless, if your plan is poking around a random, at random, you're doomed no matter how much time you take. Surely there is something more concrete, something that you can give us that's sort of a direction here. More concrete. Oh, I know. Earlier, Kyoko gave me something. Huh? What is this? It's true. Consider it a symbol of my determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it if something ever happens to me. I'm sure I'll have it somewhere. I found it! Hmm. What's in the envelope? Kyoko gave it to me. She said if something ever happened, I should open it. Hmm. Well, something certainly happened, so open it. Okay. I opened the envelope and looked inside. Inside was a single piece of paper. Under the sheets. What? That's all that was in there? Yeah, yeah, it looks like it. Under the sheets, what could it be? But could something be hidden under the bed sheets? Part of me didn't expect to find anything, but as soon as I lifted up the sheets. What's this? I found a couple of pieces of paper. Class 78, student registry. Makuro Ikasaba. I see. It appears it t to be Makuro Ikasaba's profile. Yeah, it looks like it. Probably the other thing Kyoko stole. She snuck into the headmaster's room along with the key. God, you are so annoying. Fine, I'll tell you. It's a key and a blank. That's it. This must be the blank Monokuma was talking about. Kyoko said death without meaning was unappealing, and that's what she had hmm. and this is what she had left behind. I don't have any time for sentimental indulges. Hurry up and finish your search. Okay. Made an effort to pull myself together and look down to the profile sheet. Name Makura Ikasaba. Sex. Female. The ultimate soldier. Although small for her age, she was a military specialist trained in every single weapon type imaginable. She showed interest in being a military from childhood, and as soon as she found herself completely absorbed in her. It, in elementary school, she won a survival game tournament and began writing 
for military magazines. Just before entering middle school, she and her family were on a vacation in Europe, and she disappeared. The story of the young Japanese girl being kidnapped quickly took over Japan Japanese media outlets. An intense international investigation turned up and no information, and she was never found. However, she re reappeared in Japan three years later and, complete, and was completely unannounced. She revealed that she had joined a mercenary group known as the Fen Fenrir, for those three years, she has insisted that she could hadn't been kidnapped and that she'd received battle training on her own volition. However, she never revealed why she decided to return home when she did. Mercuro's pull profile. It has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. The ultimate soldier, a mercenary group. This doesn't feel real. The world they grew up in. It's completely different in a completely different dimension. It's like one's nonfiction and the other's sci-fi. There's no way you to even compare the two. That's how different it is. That's how I saw things just as an ordinary person. But I then see. I've never imagined I would hear the name Fenier in a place like this. Huh? You recognize Naturally. it? Naturally. The Fenier Mercenary Corps is a collection of battle-crazed warmongers. They do, but they do have their uses. They always get the job done without. That's worth remembering. This part. This is all part of a world totally removed from the one I live in. Hmm. I have to say, I'm intrigued. Every room I've heard that says that the Fenir has already... Found it! Whoa! I feel like our hero is becoming a bit of a player, and a bit player is becoming our hero. Ah, it's you. Wah -wah? Huh? What? Have you been getting your pretty little hand... What do you have on your... What have you got your pretty little hands on there? Uh-oh! You found her profile? So what if we did? Hey, Don't freak out, out on, on me. Now. I'm not going to hold it against you or anything. And in case you're wondering, I don't hold it against Kyoko either, even if she had stolen and hid it. After all, there's no rule against stealing, is there? <laughs> but who him, But who I can't forgive is Mrs. Ogami, who broke in the rules and busted the into the he, who broke the rules and broke into the headmaster's room. Maybe I can drag her corpse out of here and slice it up and devour it. Bears are omnivores after all, you know. What? Are real violations really so unforgivable? You, you're quite adamant about these regulations of yours. Mm. Of course I am. A proper school life is built on the dedication of an organization and order, which is why even I, as a school headmaster, have to follow the regulations myself. Hmm. Oh. So what you're saying is you have to follow your own rules as well. Of course. Absolutely. I can't have you complaining about how unfair it all is, now can I? In fact, on the subject of fairness, would you like to know something interesting? Interesting. <laughs> it's about the one writing the, all the rules. They're actually one of the participants in this killing game. I don't think I've actually ever told you how many participants there actually were, did I? <laughs> what I was thinking. I should probably clarify that. Hey, um... When you were first all together in the main hallway... Back when, there were 15 people, right? That first meeting may have led you to, to the misunderstanding among all of you. A misunderstanding? What are you saying? In other words, That's right. There weren't actually 15 of you after all. The total number of students taking part in this killing game was actually 16. 16, then. Mukuro Ikusaba. The 16th student lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. The 16th student, Mukuro Ikisaba. She's part of this school life. So the one making all the school regulations is... Why? Huh? Huh? Did you say something? <laughs> Why are you telling us this? Hmm. Oh, well, because... <laughs> Like I told you, this killing game is desperately popular. I wouldn't believe the rate. You wouldn't believe the ratings. And since we got so many viewers now, I wanted to make sure everyone was on the same page. I don't want to wake up to a hurricane of complaints and hate mail, you know. Yes, indeed. Makes sense. Well, now. Okay, that's all you get for now. Oh, actually, I do want some revenge to get. So I have an extra bonus for you. Revenge. Yeah. I want to put back at... I want to get back at Sneaky Miss Kigiri, so I will share a little secret with you. Seriously? Hey! Um... You know how she wears those stupid gloves day in and day out all the time? Well, I don't. Don't tell anyone I told you, but <laughs> she wears them to cover a bunch of hideous scars that she doesn't want anyone else to see. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, that's all you get. <laughs>
Monokuma's account has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Kyoko wears those gloves to cover up a bunch of scars. Wait. So on the back of her hand... The tattoo. Wait, but no. Monokuma specifically said they were scars, right? And that's why Kyoko wears those gloves. To hide the scars. Which means... Those fake nails on the corpse. Hmm. Are you thinking about Kyoko again? Huh? What? Forget about her. What matters now is uncovering Monokuma's trap. His trap? Such ignorance. God, must you really have really hated you to make you so dull? <laughs> Don't you remember what Monokuma just told us? He said there were 16 students, right? Which means M Mukuro was a student That's here. Right. Obviously, Monokuma was trying to tell us that Mukuro is the one creating the rules of the game. That is why he had to tell us that. It, why now? He said he wanted to make things clear so there wouldn't be any complications later. So the mere fact he said that proves Mukuro, er, Mukuro is connected to this case. And that's why Monokuma revealed the existence of the 16th student. He needs to make the investigation fair. Mukuro is related to the case. It's certainly Perhaps possible. she's the one who killed Kyoko. Oh. What? Hmm. That would explain why we would have a class trial, wouldn't it? She is a student. She killed someone. That would make her part of this cool killing game. Mukuro is the killer? She killed Kyoko? Hmm. Anyone should be able to come to that conclusion, don't you think? In fact, that's exactly why what I thought when I, the investigation first what? began. And based on Mon what Monokuma just told us, I've changed my mind. Mukuro Ikasaba isn't the culprit. Huh? What makes you say that? Hmm. We thought Mukuro was the ultimate despair and was a mastermind's true identity. But if that is true, Monokuma's behavior makes no sense right there. Why would the mastermind go out of their way to reveal themselves to us? That's a good point. So in other words, Mukuro is giving us information that would raise questions about her. Her. Or to raise questions about her would be bold to say the very least. It makes more sense then to assume that Mukuro isn't the culprit. So that's the trap. They want us to suspect Mukuro and come to the wrong conclusion. Hmm. That's what makes sense to me. The way you said it, it definitely seems possible, but if it's really true, Mukuro isn't the killer, then who is? Hmm. Well then, I believe our work here is finished. Let's move on. I'm sure that the other places in need of are there are other places in need of investigation. I should find I could I should find out if the key to the dojo really are connected. Let's go. Are you coming? Well, in the next episode we will be continuing our investigation, seeing what's going on. Love you guys. Bye.